Hey, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you something called the URL setting inside your WordPress site, which you need to make sure is set properly and working properly. Because if it's not, there's a potential for duplicate content problems on your WordPress site, which as you may or may not know, can incur the wrath of a Google penalty because they don't like duplicate content. Inside your WordPress site, you want to hover over settings and then click on general. And right in the middle of the page, you're going to see the WordPress address URL and the site address URL. You want to make sure that they're both the same, point number one. Point number two, you want to make sure that they either have a www dot in front of them or they don't. So you can either have it this way or this way. It's really a matter of preference, doesn't matter which one you choose. You just need to choose one of them and then save changes. If you do change what you have here and save changes, you'll have to sign into your site again just uh, as a warning. And what this does is if you go to your website, and as you can see in the address bar, it loads as www dot and then the domain name. If I delete that and hit enter to go to this page without the www, it will automatically redirect me to the www, which is what we want. What happens sometimes is that there is a lot of websites that actually don't redirect. So you can go to the www version and the non-dub version and they both load their pages with that difference in the address bar. And what that means to Google is that there are actually two different versions of every page on that website. So for example, if we go to the About Us page, if we had this issue that I'm describing right now, Google would see this URL as one version of the page, and then they would see this URL as another version of that same page. And that would incur a duplicate content penalty, which is not what we want. We want to make sure we have good WordPress SEO, and that good SEO involves making sure we have no duplicate content on our website. So hopping back to our settings, we want to make sure, again, we have the version that we want in here. Really, it's a matter of preference. Click on Save Changes, and then we're ready to roll. So in this video, we learned how to avoid duplicate content issues by setting the WordPress address URL and the site address URL. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more awesome videos just like this all the time, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. I'll talk to you soon.